well based on electricity and magnetism we must have deep comprehensive knowledge about semiconductors actually semiconductors are commonly used in transistors diodes integrated circuits robots and aeronautics more clearly semiconductors are very common in robots for data processing motor control and powering various robotic functions including sensors networking and ai applications so it must be kept in mind that semiconductors are very important from conceptual point of view and examination point of view as well first of all let's find out definition of semiconductor the substance with electrical conductivity that falls between that of conductors like copper and insulators like glass is called semiconductor for example silicon germanium based on doping semiconductors are classified into two types which are given below number 1 intrinsic semiconductor number 2 extrinsic semiconductor at first let's find out intrinsic semiconductor the type of semiconductor which is in pure form is called intrinsic semiconductor for example silicon germanium based on intrinsic semiconductor we need to memorize a master point that is in case of intrinsic semiconductor the number of electrons is equal to number of holes also in case of intrinsic semiconductor electrical conductivity is low in comparison to the extrinsic semiconductor similarly let's find out extrinsic semiconductor the type of semiconductor which is made by doping pure semiconductor with impurities is called extrinsic semiconductor for example phosphorus doped silicon boron doped silicon antimony doped silicon based on doping extrinsic semiconductors are categorized into two types which are given below number 1 n type semiconductor number 2 p type semiconductor at first let's find out n type semiconductor the type of extrinsic semiconductor which is made by doping pure semiconductor with elements having more valence electrons than the semiconductor material itself resulting free electrons as majority charge carrier is called n type semiconductor for example phosphorus doped silicon arsenic doped silicon antimony doped silicon similarly let's find out p type semiconductor the type of extrinsic semiconductor which is made by doping pure semiconductor with elements having fewer valence electrons than the semiconductor material itself resulting holes as majority charge carriers is called p type semiconductor for example boron doped silicon last but not least semiconductors are widely used in robotics aeronautics and aerospace industries for powering different types of flight computers and navigation system which are crucial for both aircraft and 
spacecraft operations well based on electricity and magnetism we must have deep concept about different types of electric wire which are used in electrical circuit including transmission line actually three types of electric wires are commonly used in an electrical circuit which are given below number 1 phase wire or live wire number 2 neutral wire number 3 earthing wire first of all let's point out live wire or phase wire an electric wire through which current flows from source to load is called live wire more clearly live wire is generally red in color similarly let's point out neutral wire an electric wire through which current flows from load to source is called neutral wire most importantly neutral wire is generally black in color also let's point out earthing wire an electric wire which passes the leakage current to the ground in order to prevent from electrical hazards is called earthing wire most importantly earthing wire is generally green or yellow in color apart from this electrical phenomena like short circuiting and earthing are very common in domestic circuit or in transmission line so let's point out short circuiting at first the sudden joining of live wire and neutral wire in transmission line is called short circuiting in other words the sudden joining of positive terminal and negative terminal in a dry cell or battery is called short circuiting similarly let's point out earthing the process of passing leakage current to the ground through a conductor to prevent from electrical hazards is called earthing at last fuse is one of the most important factors in domestic circuit so let's point out the definition of fuse an alloy of t9 lead having low melting point and high resistance is called fuse more clearly we are familiar about mcb or main circuit breaker which is commonly used in our home to be clear about fuse it must be kept in mind that emitter records the amount of electrical consumption in our home so when there is excess amount of flow of current in an electrical circuit then fuse makes itself to break the circuit consequently all electrical appliances are totally saved thank you